Is the idea of humans venturing into space a frivolous waste of time and resources? While I believe the answer is no, it's understandable why some may believe that when today's typical headline grabbers are millionaires and billionaires joyriding into space. Space tourism, while important for the industry, is not a driving force for swaying public opinion towards spending billions of dollars on something that on the surface seems like excess. I'm an adult in a spaceship with lots of other wonderful adults. Especially when there are real global problems such as poverty and climate change that need to be addressed. Human spaceflight is about more than just sending people into space. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible and using that knowledge to improve life on Earth. From developing new technologies that solve problems on Earth to inspiring future generations to reach for the stars, the benefits of human space exploration are endless and closer than most may realize. NASA has a whole website dedicated to the many spin-off technologies from human spaceflight, as well as spaceflight in general. For example, to successfully return humans to Earth from space requires some sort of heat shield to protect the spacecraft and its occupants. Not only does it have to insulate the spacecraft from the temperatures of reentry, a heat shield must also be lightweight. NASA is in the process of developing an inflatable heat shield that, among other things, uses a material called aerogel, a lightweight polymer that is extremely porous, low density, and full of air. The agency says this technology could allow for larger and heavier payloads like human-rated hardware to be landed on Mars. This has led a company to develop a paper-thin form of the aerogel insulation called AeroZero to be used on Earth for a variety of purposes. This includes using it as a mount for electronics on small communications antennas, insulation for fuel tanks and other car body parts that could overheat, as well as insulating medical sensors used against human skin. Another example is the study of plant growth, which is leading to new agricultural techniques. From improving the usage of LED grow lights and hydroponics, research is allowing for better yields for crops grown in an indoor environment. In a September 2022 report, the agency said crops like wheat and potatoes produced yields of two or more times the size of outdoor farming records, often in shorter growing periods. Since people who spend six months in space are exposed to roughly the same amount of radiation as a thousand chest x-rays, NASA takes the radiation risk of spaceflight very seriously. Research on reducing radiation exposure and mitigating its effects are already having a direct benefit to millions of people diagnosed with cancer. For example, research over the last two decades has led to the development of a diagnostics test to improve cancer treatment on Earth called the Oncomate MSI DX Analysis System. This diagnostics test is used to customize cancer treatment for individuals using biomarkers inside the body to indicate whether a process is occurring normally. And all of these are all advancements because of the ongoing research aboard the International Space Station. Imagine what sorts of discoveries and advances we might get once astronauts start launching into deep space. If that's something you're excited about, be sure to launch this video's like button into orbit. In addition to all the new technologies and advancements, human spaceflight can inspire people of all ages to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, which are all important fields that drive innovation and economic growth. While spaceflight, especially human spaceflight, is expensive, it's still tiny compared to other human endeavors. Even so, the money spent doesn't just sublimate in a vacuum. Salaries are spent on local communities, at restaurants, on entertainment, and for other goods and services. But not everybody with advanced degrees will go into the space industry. They'll use their knowledge for medicine, aerospace, engineering, and more to do other great projects on Earth. This leads to arguably the most important benefit of human spaceflight in particular, at least in my opinion. It gets people excited in a way that most robotic missions often can't. While not all regular flights to the International Space Station get the same amount of attention, people are often glued to their screens when several people blast their way above the sky. Imagine what the interest will be when Artemis program astronauts start flying to the moon. In 1969, it's estimated that about 650 million people worldwide watched Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon. That was nearly 20% of the 3.6 billion people alive back then. Now imagine if 20% of the globe today watched a moon landing. That'd be 1.6 billion people. And today, more people than ever are connected via the internet. So it's conceivable that the first Artemis landing on the moon could be the most watched event in history. That's a lot of people with the potential to be inspired. Space exploration can foster a sense of wonder and curiosity about the universe, which can enrich people's lives and encourage them to learn more about the world around them, including the oceans and forests, not just the stars. 
The Apollo program in the 1960s and 70s showed this happens. We gained so much in intellectual capital and technology from that moonshot, and it really hasn't slowed down. Perhaps my personal favorite reason why human space exploration is important is because it can promote international cooperation and diplomacy, which can lead to more peaceful and stable relations between nations and the global community. The International Space Station is the shining example of what can be possible in spaceflight. And the bulk of this partnership is continuing on via the Artemis program. This not only spreads out the cost burden, it allows other countries to participate in human space exploration beyond low Earth orbit. Finally, human spaceflight helps with the sustainability of the human species. And no, I don't mean creating a backup for humanity, like some like to argue. I don't believe that's an effective argument because it isn't accessible to most people. The possibility of establishing permanent settlements on the Moon and Mars or beyond will teach us how to live sustainably here on Earth. Think about the International Space Station. Today, crews are recycling some 94% of all of their water. This will need to increase to nearly 100% when astronauts start living long-term in deep space. Learning how to sustain life on the Moon or Mars with advanced recycling and resource management will be a matter of life or death. The technologies required for deep space outposts could be used to help provide easier and cheaper access to clean water to billions of people who lack that access on Earth. Overall, human spaceflight brings numerous benefits to society, and the average person can directly or indirectly reap the rewards of these advances and discoveries. With humanity about to begin expanding into deep space, imagine what the future might look like in the next 20 to 30 years because of human space exploration. If you want to get a sense of inspiration that awaits future crewed Artemis missions, check out this overview music video I made about the Artemis 1 mission. And if you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more human space-like content or sharing this video with friends and family. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, Ad Astra.